We're working from Life Sciences Paper 1 of November 2022. We're now moving on to question 3.4. Wearing a face mask is recommended to reduce the spread of the coronavirus. There are some concerns about the efficiency of breathing when wearing a face mask. Scientists investigated the effect of wearing face masks on carbon dioxide levels in the blood. So what did they do? How did they investigate this? They obtained permission from 150 healthy volunteers. So these were people that didn't have the coronavirus infecting them. They didn't have that disease. They were all aged 30 and they gave their permission, yes, I would like to participate in your investigation. What they did was they applied a sensor to the participant's skin and that sensor was able to measure carbon dioxide levels in the blood. What they did was they asked the participants, sit still for 10 minutes without wearing a face mask. Then, sit still for 10 minutes while wearing a face mask. And remember, all the time, the sensors were measuring carbon dioxide levels in their blood. Thirdly, exercise for 10 minutes. Maybe walk up and down a step or something to skip, something to be uh, replicating us going about our normal work during the day and exercising. 10 minutes without wearing a face mask and then the same thing with wearing a face mask. And in between each of these steps, they allowed a 15 minute interval or a 15 minute break. They recorded the carbon dioxide levels using that sensor we spoke about at the end of each 10 minute break. So they would record it there, at the end of that 10 minutes, at the end of that 10 minutes, they recorded the carbon dioxide levels. And of course, when the person was wearing the face mask during that activity and that activity, they ensured that the face mask covered both the nose and the mouth. That is all the information that you are given. You read through it, you make sure that you understand what is being given to you. And now you have to identify your independent and dependent variables. So what are the variables? Let's go back to the, the explanation here. We are measuring, that's what we're measuring, carbon dioxide levels. So carbon dioxide concentration in the blood, carbon dioxide levels. There's our one variable. Our other variable is the face mask. Are they going to be wearing a face mask or without the face mask? Because going back to what we were trying to measure, is there some change in the efficiency of our breathing when we make wear a face mask? And you can see that the investigators controlled whether you were going to be wearing a face mask or not wearing a face mask. So this variable is controlled by the investigator. This variable, carbon dioxide levels in the blood, the investigator didn't know about. The investigator had to measure those levels. And so the independent variable is what the investigator controls. And so our independent variable is going to be with or without the face mask. You could say that in different ways, presence or absence 
of a face mask. And the dependent variable is the one that we have to measure. It's the one that we don't know at the start of the investigation. We know wearing a face mask, take the face mask off, that we are controlling. But we have no idea how the carbon dioxide levels are going to change as a result of wearing a face mask or not wearing a face mask. So our dependent variable then is the carbon dioxide concentration or levels of carbon dioxide in the blood. Two factors that were taken into consideration in the selection of participants. And we just have to state them or name them. We don't have to explain anything. Two things that we, uh, we looked at, they were healthy volunteers, so they didn't have the coronavirus, and they were aged 30. So we would come down to our question again, two factors, they had to be healthy and they had to be 30 years old. And there's our two marks. Give one reason why the results at the end of this investigation may be considered reliable. Now remember when we talk about reliability, we are talking about if we did this investigation now at time one, and we did the investigation at time two with different participants, for example, how do we know that we're going to get the same results? And so in order to increase reliability, we need to increase our sample size or we need to repeat our investigation. So one reason why the results may be considered reliable is we used 150 people. We didn't just use three of our friends. 10 people would have been better than three friends, 20 people would have been better than 10 friends, 150 people, we've increased our sample size, and so we have uh, earned our one mark for the reason why this investigation is reliable. If we wanted to make it even more reliable, we would repeat it. Explain why scientists allowed that 15 minute interval between each phase. So they, they did something, put the mask on uh, and sit. And they measured the carbon dioxide levels. Then take the mask off and sit and measure the carbon dioxide levels. Then exercise with, with the mask on and exercise without the mask. But in between each of those situations, they allowed a 15 minute interval. Explain why. And that is so that we could get back to a baseline again. That the conditions of sitting with the mask didn't affect our next step, which was sitting without the mask, for example. One reason why they were measured while the participants were sitting still, sitting still as compared to exercise. Maybe, or compared with exercising, maybe the carbon dioxide levels don't change when you're sitting still, but they change during exercise. So it was in order to determine what our baseline carbon dioxide levels again. And finally, Describe the homeostatic control of, a carb of carbon dioxide when it is high in the blood. So when the carotid artery, which is in your neck, those sensors detect a rise in the level, high carbon dioxide in the blood, the breathing center in the medulla oblongata stimulates deeper, more rapid breathing. You take deeper breaths and you're breathing more rapidly like you do when you are exercising 
and this gets more oxygen in, so our carbon dioxide levels drop back down to normal.